Hi there everybody, this is Mega Herb doing the last part of Let's Play Rise of the Robots, thankfully. Um, I'm gonna let you know in advance here, this isn't live commentary, so to speak. Like, I, I'm not playing this and commentating for this part. Because, rightfully so, my computer doesn't really want to play this game. Like, like you can see the twitching of the graphics as it is. It'd be like that, but like, at like a quarter speed. So I couldn't really commentate and play at the same time and have it make any like a sense. Plus if I did do a full run through it, it would just stop recording for whatever reason, so... I, I think it's just my computer trying to kill itself because it knows that I'm playing Rise of the Robots. But anyway, yeah, so... This is me doing the Crusher Droid. I don't care what it says here. It was not a draw. I had more points. Better purge those buffers. So yeah. I should also mention that if you're if you're going backwards, if you go backwards and hit a, a punch or a kick button, it has a different animation. So maybe I should glue that as other moves just to, you know spice it up a bit. I should also mention when I was trying to beat this guy, do commentary or whatever, there was, like, I did some sort of charging shoulder thrust. I did it a couple of times, I don't know how I did it, and I scoured the internet to try to find out how to do it, but the only hint I got for special moves were a way away attack, and I think it only works two player, I could only figure out how to get it to, or that's how it, like I tried to get it to work doing that in like the campaign or whatever you want to call it, and I couldn't figure it out so I just said the hell with it and did the tried, 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 tested, and true method of kicking repeatedly. So yeah, that was the crusher, and it's still not over, I just, oh I did beat it, okay. I just don't want to think of it anymore. This guy gave me more trouble than I'd care to really. Like, I put more time trying to get this up and going. Just, I don't... As much as I'd love to just forget about this, I, I already posted one part of it, so I need to at least complete it. And I am sorry about the shoddy visual effects, but if the game makers can't be bothered to put quality into this game, then why should I? And quality is probably a word you'll not hear me use in this again, unless I use it in conjunction with the word bad or low or none. So yeah. The, the frustrating thing... Yeah, the, the only one frustrating thing. One of the frustrating things is how... Like I say, there's there's no moves. Like what what's the point in playing a game with no moves? You might just as well just play rock, paper, scissors. There's, there's about as many moves. And with the inclusion of the super moves, if you can actually do them, like it's it's like you got them in rock, paper, scissors too. Like you ever play that that idiot kid in, in elementary school that you go to play rock, paper, scissors and you use rock and they're like dynamite. Yeah, that's like that's the same with the super moves, like, you don't really think to use it because they don't seem to, like, you don't think it exists, but I'm sure someone out there knows about super moves that you can do on this, it's like you can use dynamite. And do you know the, like, the, in Final Fantasy VII, I'm sure there's an RPG player too watching this, in Final Fantasy VII, in the Wonder Square and the Gold Saucer, the battle in game 3D Battler, do you guys remember that? Yeah. Like, like the, that game that cheats, the fighting game that cheats and it's almost impossible to win. That's more fun than this game. I'm gonna make that statement right now. That 3D Battler in Final Fantasy VII is better than this game. And stuff like that isn't really unheard of, like... The taxi missions in Grand Theft Auto 3 is better than Crazy Taxi, if you ask me. Sorry if I offend people who like Crazy Taxi, but it's just Crazy Taxi, but not as cartoony graphics and a whole other game included, so like why would you get Crazy Taxi? Same reason, like why don't you just get Final Fantasy 7 instead of this game? Like, if you really want to play something that's mindless for fighting, you might as well just get Final Fantasy 7. 
They at least have other mini games you can play once you get tired of playing this piece of crap. They probably cost about the same when they were new, too. Because they're like, oh, look at these high end graphics. We gotta charge top dollar for it. And I really hope that not many people actually have spent like, money on this game new. I'm sorry I spent money on it in a 185 game lot. Because it probably averaged out to about 4 bucks a game. This game is not worth four dollars. It's not. I tried to sell it at a flea market for a dollar and no one would buy it. I tried to sell like a special sale for Shaq Fu and this game for a dollar. You could buy either of those games for a dollar, you could buy them both for a dollar. And nobody would buy them. And I can't blame them. It's not good. Like I honestly don't think anybody really truly understands the painosity of this. I don't think that's a word, but it's perfect to describe Rise of the Robots. Unless you've actually played it yourself. But yeah, I, I just kind of kicked him there, like, as hard as he should be kicked. Like, that's, oh, what a sell job that is. So, yeah. That's, this, this is pretty much the game, like, I'll just, just try to be a little fancy right at the end there. Final results, cyborg victory, as it should be. And this right here, I would love to, I don't know much about like video editing, but I would love to have like a copy of Rise of the Robots just superimposed over that red robot when he kicks it off and into the pit. That just seems apropos. And here's the final boss. It's the supervisor. Whew. This will be rough. It's the boss of the game. This, is, this can't possibly be easy. Extremely high. That must either be to describe the makers of this game or myself for playing it. You know, watch this, this epic screen that you see in like the top left hand corner there because of the great video quality. That's that's my great video quality, by the way. I can't blame the game for it. Well, I can, but... Yeah, screw it. I'll blame it on the game. But yeah, this is how you beat the final boss here. You just kick her in the boobs till she dies. That's pretty much it. She's harmless, as long as you keep kicking her in the boobs. Maybe, maybe that's my problem. Like, maybe I should start kicking women in the boobs. And that's, that's like get more dates that way. Maybe that's what you gotta do. I've always wondered. I would explain why I'd seen no bruising or anything and just you know, kicks to the boobs. Yeah, if it's like just there's the final boss of the game. Doesn't even hit me. And here we are round two. More kicks to the boobs. Alright. Alright lady, hit me. Hit me back. This is domestic abuse here, like we look like we could be a married couple. Hit me back, lady. Hit, hit me back. I'll just keep kicking you in the boobs. I'll keep kicking you in the boobs. And I win. Final boss doesn't even hit me once. Oh, what a wonderful game. Oh, boy. Ooh, Nelly. Oh, and she spontaneously implodes into powder. Maybe I shouldn't kick women in the boobs then, if that's what happens. But, yeah. That was Rise of the Robots. Um, I promise to play a better game next time. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly. So whatever I say, it won't be it. Yeah, Rise of the Robots. It's uh, never... I wouldn't recommend playing it, but if you want to understand the true hideousness of this, you're going to have to take it upon yourself to play it. But don't. Just take my word for it. Oh, and you get a secret code. You can be the supervisor in training, because you need to train for and two-player combat. That's wonderful. Well. Now that this is over, I'm sure all of you will have a pleasant evening, as will I. Good night.